Run away from evil. 2 Timothy 2 verse 22, the NIV version. Flee the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Did you know to flee means to literally run away from a place or situation of danger? When we don't resist the devil or flee from temptation, it can become a very dangerous situation when we are drawn into sin. The Bible is very clear that temptation will come. However, God is faithful and will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able to withstand. He will also make a way of escape so that you will be able to bear it. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 Remember that even Jesus was tempted by Satan in the desert. Matthew 4 verse 1 to 11 To be tempted is not sinning. It is when you give in to temptation that leads to sin that is the problem. As I'm writing this devotion, I'm sitting next to water where fishermen often stand on the side to catch fish. They will throw in the bait, patiently reel in the line ever so gently, trying not to make any sudden movements, waiting for a fish to nibble on the bait. They don't pull the rod up upon the first indication of a fish nibbling on the bait. No, they want to ensure the fish has taken a proper bite of the bait. The fisherman will then jerk the rod upwards and hook the fish in the mouth to ensure the fish doesn't just grab the bait and swim away. See, the devil tries the same thing with you and me. He will throw a piece of juicy temptation as bait, our way, just like bait on a fishing hook. He will patiently wait, keep putting different kinds of bait in front of you just to see which one you will take. You may swim closer, investigate the bait or even take a small bite. You may think this little morsel of temptation tastes good, but then you remember God's word and move away from it. The devil sees this as a challenge. Now he knows your weakness and what kind of bait you like. So don't think he will just give up, go home and say, oh well, I will try catching him or her again tomorrow. Now he knows what type of bait caught your attention and will make the flavor combination and presentation of this temptation bait even more attractive to you. He throws the bait your way again. You swim closer just to look and investigate it. No harm done, right? Next thing you know, you take a small bite out of the temptation and your knees go weak and your senses get overpowered by the flavors. See, the devil knows by now he has you exactly where he wants you. He knows you are tempted. You haven't listened to God's word to flee away from the evil desires coming up in your heart. You are lingering around and the longer you stay, the more the temptation will draw you in. After a while, you forget why you even thought a bite of this temptation was a bad idea in the first place. But the devil is crafty, waiting patiently for the right moment to reel you into sin. Dear beloved, the devil comes like a lion looking for someone to devour. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 and he is ferocious. He will try everything and anything to get you trapped in sin and believing that you aren't good enough and not worthy enough to receive the love and grace of Jesus. He wants to pull you in so deep that you feel despair at the magnitude of the thought of getting out. That is why the scripture is so powerful. God knows the devil's plans. He knows what happens when you give in to temptation that leads to sin. And he loves you so much that he doesn't want you trapped in the spiral of lies. Therefore, be bold and brave, even if it feels awkward or hard when you must leave a seemingly innocent situation. If your friends want to watch an inappropriate movie at night, but you know it's not something you should be watching, rather leave the room. Those few minutes of awkwardness will be worth it in the long run. Be bold for Jesus. Follow his words and run away at the first sight of temptation. Don't keep yourself there. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for the strength you give us to stand firm, to resist the devil, and we know he will flee. 
Thank you that you have given us the Holy Spirit to remind us when a situation is unsafe and give us the boldness to run away or remove us from those temptations to seek you and your righteousness instead. We love you and we bless you. Amen.